Hello. Um, this is my this is my world. Um, today I'm gonna basically show you the entire world, start to finish, every single build, and I've also brought along a certain someone who has basically helped me be a Minecrafter, because I haven't started. I didn't start until three months ago. Three months ago, as of yesterday, actually. So this is my first world, my first builds. My first everything, and I brought along the man who helped me build most of it. That man should be with us. <laughs> Where is he? Good afternoon. There he is. This is Alistair Go, or the real allergy. Um, he's done a lot of this building. He played Minecraft. How, how long ago was it, Ali? You uh, many, many years ago. Many. When it was like. <laughs> Before there was villagers, before there was all that kind of shenanigans, um, yeah. Yeah, so a, lo a long time ago, but I came into this completely blind, and Sir Ali here gave me a big leg up. So, without further ado, we will start inside the house there, and then we'll take you to see all these magical things that you can see in the background. Let's do it! Ooh. And here we are. This is my gaff. This is my room. This is where I reside. Um, through the wall there, you've got Ali, he's in there, doing, doing things. Oh, hello, oh there he is! Kids. Oh, hello! I'm uh, naked, don't look! <laughs> right, so, over... I don't really know where to start. Well, this, this is my bed, this is my bed, this is where all my stuff is. I'm not going to go into every chest and every detail, because um, that would take forever, but... Lovely wee room here in the go, this is where I keep all my stuff for jumping into the end, for when things get hairy and so on, or as the sign says. When it gets real on, that tiny wee dot is us. And these are four of the kind of most zoomed out maps you can do. That was huge. It took a long, long time. A lot of elytra. My wings. Um, power. And a lot of patience. Um, but that was good. That was good. This is a giant contraption. Basically, this is, this is all here to hide my door. I'd never done redstone in... I wasn't aware of what it was, but it did. It basically animates things and makes it moves. It's like circuitry. He just hit me with a snowball through the fireplace. You dirty. <laughs> you pack it in. I didn't you. think that would work. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't think that would work. That's, yeah, that's, on, that's no realism for me. That should have melted when it went by that <laughs> fire. Um, anyway, um, so it's a big, ugly, horrible contraption. Um, but it has a nice effect from the outside. It's just my wee board with a stick up my stuff to do because you can get bogged in with ideas and forget half them and some of them are decent but this is oh missed it there's my door look we 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 flush door i thought that was very cool it was one of the first kind of things about and i was quite proud of it we have other residents in this house there's a downstairs and upstairs there's a wee secret through that door there um this belongs to a character called dale he just did a wee YouTube build on that, but it looks lovely. Our most recent yep. addition is my friend Shadow. He lives through here. Um, but we'll go into Ali's room first. This is Ali's awesome abode. Hello, Welcome Ali. to my humble abode. On your left here, you'll see a lovely um, painting um, mounted alongside the indoor waterfall here. Um, professional architect got this built. Yep. Doesn't take you anywhere, you know, it's not that fancy. Oh, couple no. of furnaces, kitchen area, as you've already seen the fireplace that takes you through to the, uh, you know, the room of the, the host. The host. Um, up here we've got the double bed. You can only really sleep in one, but that's fine. Looks good. Um, we, yep, we've got some tinted red windows that I believe you put there. Um, I did. I did. I just, I don't know, spaced out while you were going Monday. Yeah, yeah, matches the wee carpet that you also placed there for me, thank you. Did I? Oops. Um, yeah, so we've got, <laughs> <laughs> we've got quite a lot of dogs. I am a dog man, of course. Um, I didn't intend to have this many, but they just started getting giddy while I was out at work, and this is the product. Um, this is the end result. Up, so it's fine. Yeah, um, we've got an armour stand here with, I don't even think that's my best armour on it, but I just like it there. A uh, couple of chests, sort of nether area over here. It's your um, wee brewing station, you're like, you're like a resident wizard. Exactly, I am the resident wizard. Um, obviously, forgetting to mention the elephant in the room, which is a big massive watermelon A. Um, 
that's just a private joke between me, Ryan, and the boys. That basically, I'm a massive fan of watermelon. <laughs> um, so they decided to get the watermelon on the go, and yeah. Now, while all of the guys were away doing useful things with them with their time on the server, I was doing this. What? 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 Follow me. Hello. Hey. So this was just a wee room that I had made as an entrance um, to the hidden area that I've got on the other side of this lava source. Now, if you follow me this way, I'll explain that the hidden way is actually broken. There is supposed to be a wee rail cart there that you jump through. Oh but, yeah, there was a wee minecart and yeah, it's somehow just yeah. done the off But someone's done me absolute dirty and removed it, so I just walked through me. this wee door. It was not me. And then I've got, you know, ender chest and the um, the goods in that chest. I'll let you have goods. a wee look there, don't, uh, don't go browsing too oh, much, you know. So many goods. All the goods. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This chest is where um, all good swords come to die by the looks of things. <laughs> You've got a couple of decent ones in there. Yeah. This guy's just here for if I ever need a hug, you know what I mean? He's, um, <laughs> that's, that's quite funny, it fits you perfect. If I'm, a, if I'm ever feeling bad about myself, just come in here and have a nice wee snuggle. So you might think, this is the first room. Haha, <laughs> rookie mistake. This is the first room. Whee! So this is Thomas's gaff. He just, I mean, he, he carved most of this out really, really, really quickly. He's not on very often. But he carved yeah. it out really quickly. He made a pretty sick symmetrical design. I love what he's done with the glass and the magma and stuff. Like, I'm mining this iron that he's got in here. And now his iron's getting bumped. You see what happens when you don't yeah. come online for a while? Um, down here's his chest room. Just chest after chest after chest. And he's got a lovely wee chest that sits here. Got a wee... One of these up there. Just to keep oh, it nice and hidden. Where did it go? It went away. So when I, saw, when I saw that, that was one of the first things I saw Redstone doing. And I was like, I need to know how to do these things. Down here, we, we won't go down all the way, um, but basically this was a giant, giant hole that we PTSD. dug to fight the weather, but uh, Thomas neglected to mention how solid the weather was to fight, and I obviously had no idea what it was like to fight the weather, no idea whatsoever. So it became a bit of a mess, and long story short, the thing nearly ended up destroying the entire, the entire house, everything, it got very yep. close, but we will show you that later, for now we will head upstairs and give you a quick tour. So, let's head upstairs. Here we go, we'll start with the wee room in here, shall we? This, I don't know, it didn't really have a, didn't really have a thing for it, a use for it, and I ended up having an awful lot of redstone, so. Like a shrine, isn't it? It a is, shrine. it's like a shrine. A shrine to the stone of red. The goodies are our first dragon head from when we killed the ender dragon. Uh, the dragon egg, of course. A wee weather rose from when we fought with the thing, the weather. And a conduit that I just put in there because I felt it was a fancy thing. Getting a conduit's yep. a bit of an effort. And kind of gifted that over to Ali because he's doing some underwater shenanigans with a big underwater base. Which we will show you very, very but soon. But more about that later. But in here we have yep. to the left a wood shop, to the top, or to straight through, a kitchen and a super smelter on the right. We've also got a wee viewing tower. We'll go up there and we'll jump out of that at some point. This, sadly, is not used anymore. Basically all of this upstairs. Bar the smelt is not used. Um, because I have another storage area built. A very big storage area. Um, so sadly this has kind of fell to the wayside. But I like, I like the design. It kind of took a... Good for the memories. Big, but uh, it's a bit more interesting than that. And this is kind of what happened from that. I made an upstairs to it, a downstairs to it, over here I've got, just, I don't know, I felt like making a shiny armour case, um, and I did, so that was, that was yeah. fun, we'll go down into the kitchen, so if you came straight through from there, and here on your left you'd have the cookers, which actually have a purpose, because they cook food a hell of a lot faster than a furnace, which is cute, and over here was the, the pantry, so we did initially, kind of planned on staying here didn't we? Just, yeah, so basically, like, when Ryan made this, he was like, right, we need something that's going to tide us over for quite a long time. Um, and we basically, we used this 
um, for everything. So obviously the kitchen and uh, the wood shop, we were using that like often, often, because we were doing builds where we did actually need things that we were using it there. But now yeah. it's kind of like everything's been moved out of here and moved to another area. You know, the um, big, the big this story is kind of just like a yeah, it's kind of like a museum. You know, like a trip up. <laughs> a museum that's and, probably the best thing. Eh? Yeah, it's, it's like really if you've ever been to a museum back in the day, this is exactly what it's like. It's just old and unused. The super smell is still and used, up here's but here's the prison. Yeah, like ah, uh, we kind of went back and forth on this because these are blast furnaces which cook some things or make some things twice as fast or smelt things twice as fast. These are just your normal furnaces, but the bases are covered. You come in, pop your coal in there, that fills them all up with coal. Pop your goodies in here, whatever you want to smelt it. Which, by the way, I there just is... just put four stacks of stone in there, you so... Did. Well, would you like to yeah. do the honours and flick the switch? Yeah, you want to step back and show them uh, Indeed. when it goes off. And then when he flicks that, you'll see it's only going to fill the normal furnaces. <laughs> or the normal yeah. furnaces are the only ones that are going to do with stone. The blast furnaces tend yeah. to just do ores, but yeah, they'll smelt no off, ore. and we can individually come in here and just pick out that minecart's come back and forth filling these up. So we come in here, yep. pick, pick out the spare bits, which I don't know why I'm doing it right now, because they're just going to yeah. pop again. But then yeah, I can... that's alright. Oh shit, and now I'm just taking it all. Whoops, we swear to God, it there. I can't believe you've done this. I cannot believe I've done this. So that's going to be going for a long, long time. Ali is notorious for leaving this running, which is hilarious. I don't know what you're because, on about, mate. Because once it filters all me. the stuff down into there, you, you don't still need the car to go. It is not me. It's totally you. It's, it's someone else. You. Someone else comes on the server when you're not here. Aye, very good, very good. But once that's all smelted off, I believe uh, all your results come down into here. Yeah. And voila! You can see it filling yeah, up some itself there. Stone. So much yeah, better than doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, fair enough if yeah. we don't get XP from picking up the loot out of there. But yeah. we got an XP spawner for that, uh, an XP farm for that. Let's, exactly. Yeah. Let's head down. In fact, you know, we'll we'll leave via the tower, shall we? Because we didn't show off the tower. Lots of interesting shit. Sounds good to me, right? Yeah, that, I think this was one of the first big builds actually that we that you completed. I to me, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a massive tower, and, and this was a massive tower. This oh, was the sunrise. massive tower, yeah. Look at that sunrise. Oh, that's beautiful. And you can see the the original minecart bridge that we built way back before we had elytras, and that was the fastest way to travel. It goes on for ages, wow. ages in that direction. Yeah. Um, and we'll have a peek up here, up there. Ali had knowledge of mob spawners and how to basically make all the mobs spawn up there, flush them down there, and create a sort of farm, if you will. But that must have been for a version that was way, way back with Minecraft, yeah, as I've discovered. Updated. They update and update and update things, and it breaks some things that you build, but fixes other things that you've built. It's all good fun. Yeah. Good fun. But... We will. Oh, I fell off. I did a. F I did a folded. What is this amateur hour? It, it definitely is. Right. Let's go down into the courtyard. Woo! So I nearly killed myself there. That was class. But I did kill myself there. You lied. I did. I jumped off. But yeah, I had my uh, totem of undying on me. So. Oh, that's what that effect yep, is. I did die. Yep, terrific. What is this amateur hour? Ha <laughs> ha! Karma. This is where we used to stay. So when we were building. This is our big house. That. Like, Ali built the door here. The big huge door outside. And he made it quite ornate and stuff like that. While I focused on building, like, sort of grand steps up to it. But while we did that, yeah. we actually lived under here. Um, we had a couple of beds here. Yeah. And this is where we kicked about. This yeah. is where we like used Harry to do Potter -esque. it. Harry Potter-esque. It was very Harry Potter-esque. Um, Ali yeah, knew all about enchanting stuff. I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. So we built this lovely thing. Ta -da. Let me see you twerk, 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 twerk. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Carry on. Um, yeah. Um, we've got hundreds and hundreds of books all made up. These were kind of books that we made just to burn to get better enchantments and everything else, and that was the way we did it. But looking lovely, looking lovely. Through here, I'm just keeping 
dark and basically dark and cobblestone coming from the tunnel. This would be stuff that we mined out of the nether. Um, okay. We got some super red thing? stuff here, less red stuff here, and netherite in here. This is what most of the ends made. Up. Not the end, the nether. See, I'm still new. Is made up oh, of. I'm so bad at that as well. Yeah, um, but this is where I originally planned on storing all that stuff before um, I got really big eyes and decided to upscale everything. But this is most of the basement. All done! Because this bit here, as you'll see, just leads us back up into the gaff. But now, we will go outside and start showing you the grounds. Ta da! This, these are the grounds. I know you saw them earlier on, but we got a wee pond here. Uh, Shadow brings a kind of comical nature to this world, so he likes to put enemies in boats. We've got a pretty godlike fishing rod in here. There it is. Look at the yeah. C2 on breaking 3, lure 3, mending 1, Beltar. And this was our first wee forge. This was. Where we spent many hours in here. Many, many, many. Slaving hours. away. Aye. I thought this was a great this wee anvil, ornate built. This anvil's been replaced about six times. <sighs> Try sixty. Yeah, for the rest of the grounds here we've got simple wee pens for the sheep, for dyeing them, making carpets. The pigs are all on boats because the pigs are a pain in the ass. They every time you Crap. go in and at these doors they just try and escape. And you're like, Pony please no do that. And yeah, oft. What are you doing? Oh yeah, Ali also found a bit of horseplay. A bit of horseplay. Oh. <laughs> what is he like? Kill me. This is a cry for help. <laughs> right. Uh, and this was the this was the first really big scale farm that we built. Ali built a small one back there that you saw, and I used that to to make this thing. And I thought it looked absolutely smashing. Really lovely. I do have oh, some use out of it. I use the wheat to feed the cows, I use the potatoes to feed the pigs, um, the carrots and radish, not so much, but maybe I'll need them one day for something. Um, yeah. You probably got a wee sneak peek. Oh, we sneak peek at the storage building. That's one of my, one of my absolute favourites. Um, and over that there, back. I have a village, which is another one of my absolute favourites. But we'll get to those because we're going to work our way, let's fly quickly over to the bamboo forest and I'm going to try and fly straight through here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. So, um, since the last time I was on this server, um, Ryan has created this bamboo forest because I've, this is the first time I've seen it. We had to um, go a long, long way to get bamboo, like 2,000 blocks. It looks as though there's a zombie, not an armor stand, with some armor and bringing like some sort of playfulness to the to the build. It's actually quite cool that it's getting dark now. Um, I'm gonna go over here, and that was a wee tree house thing that East Shadow started to build as well. So yeah, we won't. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that either. No, because he came over here and grew actual big jungle trees. After I thought I could yes. grow a jungle tree in this biome, and then he just he was just taking the mic out of me. But it's getting dark, so if you turn around. You start heading towards the forest, it should start to glow, glow, That glow, looks glow. so good with the sunset behind it. Yeah. And then you walk through the spoopy forest. And look, look, it's so menacing. Because you just kind of half see them. And you're like, oof, look, there's another one. It's weird because you don't clock that they're armor stands until you're like, close enough to poo your pants. But let's not let that divert our eyes from this masterpiece. Hey! <laughs> This was Ali's, this was, this was your first big solo build, you went away and built this yourself. Yeah, yeah, this was my first, um, my first project, I did take the time, you know, I must have done about 10 trips to the nether to try and get this much, because this isn't actually nether rack, it's nether brick, so I had to go and smelt it, and it's like, I had to mine basically four times the amount to get this much, and it was just a pain in the, the butt. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this is what, uh, this is basically used for nothing else except the lighthouse, which if you want to fly up to the top with me, actually, so if you look inside quickly, um, it's just a wee redstone thing, I don't have a redstone torch to fix it at the minute, 
Um, it's supposed to revolve and go around, and that looks lovely. But every uh, I would, time I would like, like this jump. one, then those lights would go off as it switched on these ones, and then they would go off as these yeah. switched on. It would do what a lighthouse does, but so I think careful. it's um, I think it broke when PlayStation Minecraft uh, version, which was called Legacy version, actually switched to being Bedrock version, and I think that changed a couple of redstone and rules, and it's it's broke this and left it constantly on, but. You, you could come back and fix it someday. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I, I do like it constantly on anyway, but it did look super cool. Like, I remember sweating for like five hours to get this sorted, and I was like, what is going on? And it took me like multiple attempts, and then I just clicked one, and it all started going. And it was like, you know when Charlie gets the golden ticket and Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? It was like Aye. that feeling. It was just immense. It just it felt great. So the secret door in the house actually comes out comes all the way under this ocean, all the way straight yeah. out into that distance. It keeps going to a place that's not even rendered. So, yeah. why don't you take us there now, Ali? So this is Ali's underwater base, and I believe... Oh, Welcome oh, wee bit of lag. to my humble oh, oh, for some odd reason I turned 180 there. Fair enough. This is Ali's underwater base. Oh, this, this Welcome. The, the uh, oh, part. yep, that's my landing pad. Is the whole ocean? Um, if you look down here, this is the main hub of my base. I've got nothing in Ooh. place yet, but I've got a few cool ideas. Um, I plan on sort of digging into the side of the the walls and doing like little pods. Um, pods. Just what? Yeah. So you know, hold on. I think I'm gonna uh, try not to die here. Yep, I never died. Perfect. So, for example, you know, like a bee blocks, and there's like a biome in there. Oh, um, you're gonna do tons of different biomes. Around. Yeah, it's possibly. Like, sort of like a Minecraft biome showcase. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen the Modern Warfare Two after you complete the campaign and you go around and see all the missions and stuff? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah, a sort of night at the museum sort of esque thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, something similar, anyway. Um. But we'll see. Maybe a big water fountain in the middle, you know. Fill it up, do some things. If we come through here, now this here is going to be a big archway, right? This is going to be a big archway in here. Oh, is that with the cobblestone but, lines? Yes, yes, so that's going to be the top. But, if you follow me, this hasn't yet been um, excava excava excavated. So, Why has he done so much under here? here, man? Yeah, so I've started building, you know, these are going to be some uh, piston doors. Same again over there. Oh, the big um, long bits will be piston doors. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, I see a down, couple of sticky pistons here. I'm going to go up. Um, and if you come away up here, this is just going to stair way right to the top here. Um, just a nice landing pad, obviously with a big E instead of an H. But yeah, so that is going to take me ages to oh, get wait. that finished, you've done, water, com sort of you've done a completed one though, out. haven't you? I only showed the non-completed one. Oh, this oh all, yeah, 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 to, your, to your right is... Uh, it's all blocked yeah, off. Yeah, it's because I was trying to um, sponge that, so it's all sponged on the inside. Oh, you've actually, ah, I yeah, see, you've actually started clearing it in there. That's cool, because yeah, you've got yeah, yeah. this one in here, that's going to look so cool once it's all drained. Okay. Ali, take us... To your shaft. Well, Ryan, you were onto something earlier. Because if you just plop down here, Whoa. you are in the panic room. The panic room. Oh! Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's, um, yep, yep, that's a uh, that's thing. This is. Probably about 600 blocks along the way. Um, and how many? Was it six wide? Uh, I think it was six wide, yeah. No, it was four wide. It was four. No. No, it was four tall. And it was. Yeah. And no, 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 it's three, three tall and four wide. A long way away. And many, many blocks had to be mined there. Oh, so but, many blocks. I actually started building it. Um, and then I, I just lost all motivation and hope and was like, Ali, I need you to help me build it. 
you know, yeah. hold on. I'll take that uh, boat out your way and you can go first and I'll watch you. Hold on. Um, would you like to um, watch my booty as I go away? I would. The, the premise to this was that walking, running, flying, like, you know, there's several ways to go, but this, this was by far the fastest. Bye! Adios! And he's, and he's gone. He's gone. Just like that. Yeah, this is, um... I so, will also do it now. Yeah. Would you like to just come and catch up with me? It's incredibly hard to keep your boat going straight, but look at the speed of that. Look at the coordinates up on the left. This goes. This is the bit that goes all the way under the ocean. Um, it's not quite yeah. finished. We haven't put all the. Oops! I've gone and froze the game. Oh my god! Oh, and we're back. Here you are. <laughs> Travelled so fast the game just couldn't handle it. Yeah. Um, remember to put your boat in the wee boat chest here. Alright, Dad. I'm kidding on, I'm the one that's just needs everything in its place. Yeah. So, um, would you like to lead the way? I will lead, I will lead the way. So that's us done the big, the big, big tunnel. And when you're at the end, you've still got a big, big stairway to go as well. Um, so, so, so that's much. That's a long thing. So much mining. Um, and this is without beacons. And we didn't have particularly good pickaxes either. We just had a, a dream in a wooden pickaxe. <laughs> that was that. <sighs> Hurts so my heart. It brings us back up. Boom! To the house. Woohoo! It just connects up so What easy. a round trip. I know. What a round trip. And we'll still get plenty more to see. Which brings us actually to... Do you know what? I think Ali here, he knew I had a wee tiny, tiny village. It was just a three block high wall with a few villagers in it outside just to keep them rounded up. While Ali's been away, I believe it is, yeah. I've done an awful lot. So, let's. You've been doing some work. I, let, I have been doing some work. Let's walk. Um, oh. Let's walk round to the, to the village. This is a wee path that leads you around and connects you to things. Um, that's the storage building again. We're not gonna look in there. We're gonna save that. Um, Ali, do you want to take the lead? Do you want to take the lead? Because you've not even seen the path. You've not even yes. seen it. So, so I'm just gonna follow you. The last I seen the path cut off at the storage. Look, there's some nice trees around here. You've done a, a bit of landscaping, some foliage work. I like it. A little bit, a little around bit. Around to the. Hmm. <laughs> A little bit more work here since last how time. How long did that? How long did that roof take you? Do you know? No, as long as you would think. Um, I am so glad I wasn't around to help you with this. a lot of resource gathering, but to oh actually build the thing, not that long. Oh, you've done a wee moat as well. I have done a moat, uh, and that uh, goes around the whole the thing. Because, see, my initial idea. See if you look up, Ali, halfway up the roof. You'll see that there's like yeah. a, a platform, if you will. Now, when we start a raid, all the enemies will swarm on the outside of this building. Uh, but, uh, but because of the shape of the roof, the enemies would hide underneath the lip, so we yeah. couldn't shoot them from up there. But this moat pushes them back to outside the perimeter, oh, there. Fantastic. and we can shoot down at them with arrows. It's just going to be easy, Ozzy. I even I've started building a wee tower up there. Not really get too into it yet. Um. I'm gonna come. Yeah, um, that that that's gonna be so easy for us to do raids and so on and so forth. Um, oh my goodness! It looks even better inside. Have you got, have you got inside? You've got inside already. You're sneaky. Oh, I, I thought you were inside. Yeah, I'm out here and I'm stuck. Oh my god! You have thrown this into the the stratosphere. I have Unbelievable! The stratosphere. You go, doink, boom. Here we are. Hello, welcome. This was oh originally a three high wall, so it went up to here and it just had these three huts. But now <laughs> I have this thing, Ali. What do you think all they are? Oh my goodness. So, I literally, I've not been in here since the roof, since she sorted these guys out into their own wee room. I that makes it their, so much easier. I put them in their own room. I spent the time training them to have the right things. So we got mending oh. books on demand here for 12, 12 
Emerald for a mending book. Unreal. And then when you do a raid, it goes down to seven. Oh, that chicken's a menace, mate. He just goes in there and pests him. But, Ali, see, in here, I've had problems with uh, pillagers spawning in here, physically in here. Because if you want to watch this. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Nobody's touching my boys. They are staying Ryan, alive. You have ascended. They you shall have ascended. They have ascended. Look at that. Look. Safe as you that's like. That's unbelievable. The only thing that can hurt them is that wizardy guy that spawns those cupid things that come in and up out and down the ground. Bar that. Ain't nothing messing with my villagers. This is unbelievable. You like? Oh yes. So look, you can get a mending book, respiration three, efficiency five, silk touch, infinity, sharpness five, a llama. Why is there a llama there? <laughs> like you can buy this llama. Is he, why How's is he that spawned guy up just there? turned up? Why is he spawned up there? Where he goes he? I don't believe no, so. I, don't I would, I would have, Lama, would have saw this. What is going on? Well, it is a Blast Protection 5 book you can get from in here, by the way. Um, that is ridiculous. So we are, we are totally set. The enchanting table is losing its worth because this is so valuable. So anyway, this first waterfall here, this was the first attempt that I kind of made at, would you say, landscaping, I guess? Yeah, yeah, but um, landscaping. What would you like shaping or um, something yeah, landscaping. We'll go with landscape. Boofed. Messing with my there landscape. There appears to be a spooder in the. But that—that that was all world. actually. I've probably got it. I'll throw it up on the screen now. I've got an image of what this did look like beforehand. Um, as you can see, it's quite flat, quite um, just standard like Minecraft generated stuff. It's a Minecraft generated hill. Um, but I've given it a lot more... Can you say natural? I always have a problem saying natural in this game. Because everything's made of scores. So nothing looks natural. Uh, more more of a realistic setting. A realistic, right? You know, more realistic, it, it, wouldn't just be a, it wouldn't just be a flat waterfall in real life. You know, there's always and bumps that. and... Yes, it, it took yeah. a lot, a lot of work because... Like, I would start at the top of the mountain, see for the sides of it. I had to build them down and out in order to make it look more like a mountainside. The waterfall itself, I had to place and then replace the water oh, a couple of hundred times. There's a wee infinity pool at the top. Um, and this keeps, does look great. keeps freezing a wee bit there. We wee, wee struggle, wee glitch. Um, yeah, so I started from here and I had to take the water up. And just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Until I eventually ended up with this, and I'm I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty I think it looks it. pretty good from here, man. Thanks. So all together, it's it, I feel like it's really really coming along. Now that I've started doing these sort of builds, I like it. Yeah, like you've really been putting in the time um, with builds like this. You know, I, I haven't really been on in about a week or two, um, but. The progress that you've done in here is unbelievable since I've been gone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, speaking of progress, um, let's go check out the XP farm that we did. But let's go down into the XP spawner. We've done some work to this over time. I'm sure you're all aware of what XP spawners are. Um, XP spawners? I keep calling it XP. XP farms. Skeleton farms. Zombie farms. This is our one. Um, in this case, both skeleton and zombie. In this case, both. Aye, uh, yeah, which is an interesting thing. So, if you go to the right, there is a place to wait, to sp and it will spawn skeletons and zombies. Or you can go to the left for just zombies. But I have shut this bit down. It's under construction for uh, ever. Let's go down to here. Pow, 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 pow. So as you can see, if Ali would move his oh, glorious on. blue butthole yep. out the way, All right. and there's where it actually is. So when I come here and I want them to start spawning. Obviously this light from the hall going through this glass affects the spawn rate big time. So I tend to flank myself here. I'll get these out and I'll just say bye. And then once I do this, look, completely pitch black in here now. Pitch dark. 
unfortunately we didn't just miss those ones. You can see skeletons way, way up, way inside there. There's actually another skeleton mob and if you wait here, you're within distance to spawn the skeleton spawner and the zombie spawner. And then as you can see they'll spawn, land in the water, push them down into there, which sucks all the enemies down there. And then you come down here <laughs> to the collection plate if you will. Ah, collection plate. You can see them there. They're all getting sucked up the water, they'll go up for about 24 blocks. There's another water stream pushing them along, 5 blocks, and they will fall down here. This is just a wee leg, so it's a wee slab. And they're all hitable now. They're all one hit. So I can just sit here, farm away to my heart's content, and there's a hopper underneath picking up all the drops. Which. Yep. You empty through it. Doink. All the XP yeah, comes in get there. Get the XP from these. Um, no, I just did a big empty. I just did a very big empty, I'm sure. Um, We've got a good bit here. of disenchanting to do on this thing then. Well, there is a lot in that first one, but I'd filled up every single chest under here. But that, yeah, that's, that's, basically, good, that's basically everything here. It's a pretty simple design, but I've jazzed it up and put, you know, just some nicer stone bricks in and tunneled it out and just made it look like an actual purposeful thing. But I think the next thing we'll go to is the quarry. Boom! And we are here. Um, we are at what is the quarry. Oh, there's a wee interesting thing over there that I'll show you at some point. But we are here at our... Mahusive quarry. It looks very oh, not impressive yeah. from here. Head down in it. Again, I just flew all the way out here because I wanted a mine that was way out the way. Um, so we came down and we built the strips going off to the side. So we finally gathered enough materials to make a beacon. Here we go, our first beacon. We did it with diamond and emerald and gold yep. and iron. And it just yep. looks Lovely. This beacon has to go all the way to the surface. It has to have a line, so I dug that hole down, which was fun and treacherous. But now, let's head up and give you a bird's eye view. Can I do this? Hey, look at that. And that is a bird's eye view of our quarry. It's what a sight to behold. Pretty massive. But this has all been hand dug, albeit with a beacon. Uh, and we haven't been at it very long. Um, I did all the topsoil pretty much myself. Um, but now we've been coming down and just digging it out. There is an XP creeper farm that I built. We have a thing, yes. I keep saying we XP. Have a thing. Why do I keep saying XP? Because I'm an idiot. Mods. Idiot. An idiot. Absolute idiot. But Absolute let's jump over there quick and give you the rundown on that. Hey, here we are. Right, we're actually we sitting on top of the creeper spawner. I don't have plate. If we hop down here though, whoop, you can see this is the spawner. Um, but it was a lot of blocks, a lot of materials, a lot of resources. I was gonna say I came I was gonna say I came online and you were like, right, I have all of these resources to gather. And I was like, okay, well I'm not doing anything. And I literally just went and got you all the resources and then I was like, okay, you build your thing. And I was like, thank you very much, sir. Because it, it, it was I mean it was a lot. You're talking like twelve hundred of one material and eight hundred of another material, uh we all the trap doors underneath each of these platforms and oh it was a lot of bother. Yeah but it was it was a big grind. It was a big grind. So the VFK platform there, it's different from the height why and eventually we came up with this spot. And if I stand here after I've done that and I wait about after a full night of AFKing I get what would I get? About nine, ten stacks of gunpowder for making fireworks. So about nine, ten stacks a night is, is absolutely dealable. That yeah. pretty much fills a double chest with fireworks because we've got all the sugarcane we need on earth for the paper. Sugarcane makes the paper. This gunpowder makes the gunpowder. Um, and then you <laughs> put it together to make Ooh. fireworks. I know. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. basically it. It works quite well and that we finally got it to work. Not quite 1500 
gunpowder per hour, as the video stated, but it does the job. Now over there, that is that is the last thing we have to show you. That is the last part of this world tour. And something I'm quite proud of. Uh, Ali hasn't seen all of it. He's seen most of it. But I've made yeah, a couple was, of changes and a couple of improvements. I was here for, you know, the outer um, the framework and I even helped, you know, fill in the walls and stuff like that. Um, I've seen I've seen it with the chests and stuff in, but I, I believe there's been some some alterations done to it. There have been some hum modifications. Um, not no 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 funny stuff. Um, just me building, no cheaty stuff. Um, but let's fly over. Last thing, and there it is. There is the storage unit. Um, as you can see, the, the emblem storage. that appeared in the top right there. That wee emblem. We kind of ran into a, a wee hiccup. A wee hiccup. Uh, Ali. Yeah. Yes. Ali uh, started a raid, which was uh, great. Unintentional. <laughs> so, this is it. This is the end of it. This is the storage unit. Good. I love this. I. This is my baby. I put a lot of time and effort into this. Um, Ali, take us through it. Go on through because. So. Um... I've seen I've seen the bottom here, you know, when you walk in, a lovely corridor here. To the left, you've got all the valuables in these boxes here. Um, obviously coded by pictures as well, which is so handy. Um, same again on the right, we are sort of your more common items, your stones, your woods, etc. Um, a nice clean sorting system. Um, you haven't you haven't noticed said. you haven't noticed these things in the corner. To the right. And to the left of the stairways, we have, I'd imagine, a lot of time in the end. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks, it looks lovely, you know, you want a wee shulker box, come here, pick it up. Um, we've already got plenty of shulker boxes between us, um, because of these endless jaunts to the end, as you would call them. Yeah, so, uh, they, you want to take us jaunts. upstairs? I don't know, um... I will, I will, I will, I will, so... I don't know if I've seen anything past this point. Well, up here is more of a, just a continuation of the downstairs. Um, I haven't really coded these ones up here yet. The three here, they're junk bins, same as the other side, just... Um, it's kind of missed right now. I haven't worked out a great way, because I don't really want to put all these down on the floor here, where you've only got one carpet space left. And I don't want to put items down on it. But I'll figure that out in the long run, that's been a wee while. Um, but if you head upstairs here... I, well, as you come up the stairs, ah. like I don't know why, but it just—it's a wee touch that I just pure love. Um, no, it looks nice. The redstone blocks, man. I'm liking that. Indeed, you can see probably a wee carpet change, a wee carpet change. Uh, a wee red and black number, of course. Just to signify yeah. a difference, and then Harley Quinn, Ali, um, have a wee look in front of you. Ah. Oh my goodness. We have we are a bar. in the beer hall. We are in the beer hall. So you've got dancing on the table. See course, the end of the night man. as well, mate. You don't even need to, you don't even need to pull the chairs over to the side, look. Just just for the moon. Sorry pal. That's last orders. That's us closing chief. That's us that's us shut. Sorry pal, no. Hey, get your taxi's phone. Chairs are done, chairs are done. Yep, that's us. Oh, I didn't even notice the big dragon heads up top. Hey, hey two dragon heads. That is a different touch, man. I Don't like it. All the slain. And we even have a wee bartender as well. A wee last order's bell and all that. A wee last order's hey. bell. <laughs> That's it. He hates the bell. Look what you've done. Love that. There's some, uh, some drinks over here if you'd like some drinks. We've got, uh, what have we got? We've got um, a couple of beverages. Some awkward potions. What have we got over here? We've got some more awkward potions. Uh, some water bottles. It's no stock do it yet. You know what I mean? It's lockdown. We're struggling to get the, uh, struggling uh, to get the booze in, mate. Lockdown. But this, this is it. This is the end. This is the... Unbelievable, Ryan. The end Superb. of the tour. I mean, we didn't take notice of the giant glass ceiling. Which was another effort that, all in itself. I'd imagine that took quite a lot. <laughs> sort of, I just, I just wanted more than your standard Greek sort of building roof. 
So I fired a bit of glass. That, look, that does look nice. It looks really nice from the outside as well. Yeah, you get a kind of, kind of nice view inside of the checkered carpet as you're passing over it. Yeah. This is where we come from. Uh, Ali, would you like to take a wee, a wee seat just in that one there? I'll get a wee seat here. Uh, just, uh. Ah, it's been good, mate, innit? It's been some day. We have made plenty of progress. And look, oh, um, look, over this world. look, going to third person view, the rain comes through the roof. Like, kind of like it does in Harry Potter Cathedral. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Welcome oh. to Hogwarts. What a lovely way to end the video. Oh man. Well, yeah. Um, three months have been on this world, man. This is three months. Three months of an absolute amateur. I'd never touched it before in my life. Your man Ali G here helped me out. Um, showed me the ropes. And this has been the result. You just I'm... took it and ran with it? I did. I took it and I actually I ran far. And I'm going to keep running. Flew, yeah. um, there will yeah. be more videos to come in the future. I'm going to keep doing more builds. I'm going to keep expanding things. But until then, cheers for watching. And Ali, cheers for being here. Absolutely no problem, mate. Been a pleasure. See been you a soon. pleasure. See you next time.